entrepreneur, digital marketer, scooter pro, podcaster, speaker. As a student, he faced the uh, challenges of RTS here in town, and it led him to the creation of New Scooters for Less. Fifteen years later, one of the largest scooter dealers in the United States, known for its unique, eccentric, and uh, innovative culture developed around a single core value, which is create and recreate the ultimate customer experience. As Dorothy said in her uh, newsletter, hold on to your hats. <laughs> Colin Austin. <laughs> Three primary purposes came out of formulating this podcast, and it was one, <clears throat> I, wanted to re I wanted to maintain, I wanted to keep our talent here, right? We have a top eight university right here. I wanted these students to realize that, hey, when you graduate, you don't have to leave. Like, you can stay right here in Gainesville, Florida. You can raise a family here. You can work for one of the amazing companies here. Or we'll help you, for if you want to start a business, we'll help you. Like these are, and that's a, that, wasn't, that did not exist when I was in school back in 2004. I figured out everything on my own, everything. And now we have all of these resources available. So I want to get these students to realize that, hey, this, this is available to you. Second purpose, I want everybody to know this, this podcast is coming out of Gainesville, Florida. I want, because, hey, we're on airwaves. It's going out into the world. Maybe somebody else hears it and they go, you know, that's a place that I want to bring my business to. That's a place that I want to move my family to. So I want it to be this recruiting tool. I want people to hear it and, and I want to use it to bring people into Gainesville. And then finally, it's to make sure that everybody knows each other, that we're connecting. I can't tell you how many business, it's fascinating to me, how many people have reached out to me and say, Colin, I saw so-and-so on your podcast. I had no idea that business existed, no idea. And now I reached, out to that comp I reached out to that company, we're collaborating, we're doing a project together, and I just wanted to say thank you. And that's been enough for me. Um, plus, sure, there's other incredible um, value that, that I get from it. One is, one is when I invite a young entrepreneur onto the show and I like ask, you know, we had, we had Drew uh, from Halo Potato Donuts. I don't know if you guys have seen his food truck. He's a, a new business. He's trying to get things off the ground, right? And, and I made him, like, he wanted to be on the show in the early day, like, in the very, very first few episodes. And I said, no. I was like, I want you to wait. I want you to get some experience because I want to talk about the challenges. I want to go, th go through this. I want to dive deeper into this a little bit. And when he was on the show, at the very end of the show, he goes, hey, I want to tell you something before we sign off. He said, a few months ago, you did a, you did a podcast on depression. And it was, it was just an episode where we talked about depression. We kind of, you know, there's in entrepreneurship, I think suicide is at its highest level ever. And, and if you, you know, any entrepreneur in the room will know, like there's times where you feel ex so lonely, right? So lonely. It's like one of the defining characteristics of entrepreneurship. And he told me, he's like, hey, I heard that episode. I was in my food truck. I heard that episode. And immediately after that episode, I got help. And I just wanted to let you know. And I was like, man, for me, that's, that's all I need. I was like, that's all I need. So that's, that's the purpose of the podcast. Uh, we're about a year in on the podcast. We have, we're now, we get applications all the time to be on the show, which is amazing. Uh, we are gonna try to figure out ways to like have money come in for it because it is very expensive. I'm self-funding it at this point. Um, but its purpose and what it's gonna do for this community. I mean, the impact that I've seen it have over 50 episodes has been absolutely incredible. I cannot imagine the impact that it's gonna have at episode 500. And so, it's, if you listen to it, thank you. <laughs> I would love for you to listen to it, share it, tell me your thoughts. It is on, it is on video and uh, audio format. So if you like to watch video, we have it where we record it on camera. Um, and, and you can do that on, on YouTube or on Facebook. Just, just search WHOA GNV podcast. Um, or if you just go to wognv.com, that'll get you to all the platforms that you need. But it is on iTunes, Spotify, SoundCloud, all of that. So, um, <clears throat> so I mean, that, that, that's really it. I mean, I would love for you guys to, to listen to it. Let me know what you think. I, I will say this. Am I going over? I got seven minutes. I will say this. You're 
good. Eight minutes? Okay. Um, I will say this. There's something that I've realized when it comes, we were at an influencer event last night and there's, there's something that I've realized and that's a lot of us are afraid to put out content. We're afraid, we're afraid to speak our minds online. We're afraid to do these things. And a lot of the times it goes to, well, nobody cares what I have to say. No, nobody cares what I have to, like, who, like who cares? <laughs> nobody cares what I have to say. And, and the truth is, and what I've discovered is that a lot of the times people just don't tell you, right? Like I'm putting out tons and tons of content, whether it's in video, whether it's on the podcast, these different things, but uh, I know that it's impacting people's lives and they're just not telling me, right? So the one thing that I would encourage you guys is that anytime somebody like has an impact on you, just to tell them. Just to tell them because that for me, like when Drew told me that, that hey, this is like had an impact on me and I just want you to know it. When he told me that, that was adding another log to my fire. You know, I was like, yes, all right, dude, that's a nut. Like that, that just motivates me more to like keep doing this, to keep doing this. So I would just say if anybody ever has an impact on you in any, pos in any way, just let them know because it'll add a log to their fire. Thank you so much. Thank you guys much. for having me. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, I'll stay. Myth and legend himself, ladies and gentlemen, if I may. Ricky, go ahead and say his name. Please, say his name. Please. His name is Colin Austin. Don't you ever come up out the cracks and try to tell me how to get it popping, really. Way too motherfucking educated to be spending any time just talking with me. Guys, think about the best leaders you know. They're the ones that give it all away. They give it all, all away. They're instilling their values, the, like the skills that they have into other people. You know, you could have a, lead, a top sales guy, a top sales guy, but the sales guy, that doesn't necessarily mean that they're the best leader, right? Because what I've noticed is like sometimes people want to hoard all their skill to themselves because they don't want somebody to be as good as they are. So they hoard it. So if you want to be the best leader, whether it's in your business or as an individual, give it all away. Take, teach people what you know. Many people waking on me in the lobby, trying to board a bus and get it in. Hundred thousand dollar conversation with investors telling me they want it in. Now some women from a runaway always call me when they get a jam. Used to give them all the time of day, now they're scrolling through my Instagram, wishing that they did accommodate. I ain't even feeling need a grant. Never been the type to hold a grudge. I don't even love them, they ain't getting in.